So what is up guys? This was actually a, a super epic trip. Um, we uh, we left super late. The plan was to chase the tuna fish, the eye, and the plan didn't quite work out for what we're really going for. If you watch the video, what happens? But it was a super epic day, and we have a new personality on the boat. You're gonna find out who he is real shortly. So I'll see you guys after the trip for the breakdown of how we did taking the fish to the auction, how much we made. All right, everybody. What is up? Good afternoon, adventure crew. Uh, you saw what we did last week. We got two eyes, right? We lost some. Um, I finished work early today. This is the very next day after last week's video. I finished work early today. It's 12 o'clock. We're going to try to run out there. And we're going to see if we make something happen. Uh, unfortunately, Nat couldn't come. So it's Roy. Roy boy again. And my friend Shay. I'm one of the best divers in the state. So pretty epic. I'm sure you guys know who he is if you're a diver. Uh, but uh, it's 12 o'clock now. We're going to try to get on the water. Wait for Roy to park the trailer. And we're going to go. We're going to rock it out there. Promise it's going to be a big day. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button post new videos every Sunday 7 p.m. Hawaii time but let's get some tuna fish boys and girls we caught number 10 and 11 yesterday I got a goal in my head I didn't hit my goal yet for the year so let's see if we can reach that goal today all right here comes Roy boy you good you jump yeah you we blew it out here got kind of wet it's two o'clock in the afternoon always drop your spamos before good luck gotta feed this you got gotta give something to get something throw your rubbish away don't take leave it on the don't throw it in the water and then, thank you for the people in uh, Heia who saw us, Kanye who saw us went out. Oh, they, uh, they're like, well, I'll give you something for good luck to, for the sea god. So they give me two uh, Jindui, so we're going to run the water. Well, thank you very much for the sea god today. Extra good juju. So thank you to you guys. Uh, all right. I guess. I guess. Let's go. Let's go get some beer and get lucky, guys. There we go. For the dream. For the dream. So we got two light baits in the water right now. A small shibu, which is a small elephant tuna, and a small aqua skipjack tuna. Um, the aquas prefer to be better than the, than, the, than the baby elephant because they're a lot more stronger. But um, our aqua was kind of hooked in the gills and pretty much died as soon as we put them out. So he's been skipping back there. So we're going to bring that guy in and we're going to try to catch another bait to put out there. Right, save that one for this afternoon. Put that brick back on him. Boom! In the boat, so we're gonna try to catch another one now. So we took a double, that was Ahis. We're hoping for Ahis, but double Marlin. One broke on the run, and the other one's on right now. So we got two Marlins on, not what we wanted. Right, right, I'll sell you two. Huh? I was like, I saw the sheepy like come tight. Yeah. I was like, I saw the sheepy like come tight. That was gonna bite back there. Yeah, but no, I saw the Marlin jump, and then right when he jumped, that one popped off, yeah. and this one's on too. He pulled once, but yeah. I think just caught right down. Thanks, man. Yeah, we're gonna watch this guide while I'm coming down the top of our line. Cool. Not what we wanted, but we'll take it. Hey, you can lead her. I know Banks take her out, yeah. Alright, we're gonna get this fish out. We'll see you shortly. I get the Banks take loading everything else ready to go. Time, time for war, boys and girls. Time for war. Uh, Yeah, we have to move poles around. Yep. Roy, when you go to move this pole, yeah. back up for the drag a little bit, yeah. yeah? Back up for the drag a little bit, okay? Now you touch your gear. You gotta go down and dirty. Touch your gear now. Not only will we take our time, but you know what? Time's a ticking. He's gonna go down there, so we're gonna go up sea on him, which is kind of rough conditions. Which, but then you can lose the fish, which is I don't want to lose it, but if we lose it, we lose it. I'm not here to catch Marlin today. Okay, once you grab it, you're back off the top track, half drag, yeah? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll reel while it gets close. Okay. I, I, I don't want to reverse. I'm going to reverse. Tell you I'm going to reverse. Yeah, yeah. You might be dead. You might yeah, be
That looks like it's all white. No, no, oh, he's dirty wrapped. <laughs> he's dead real, guys. Yep. Yeah. Okay, neutral. That's why you fought so hard. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Uh, what? 150? 150? 150? 150? 160? That's dead, yeah? Yeah, he's dead. Holy snap! Snagger! I got a saw. We got him. Oh, that's crazy. Alright. Good. I have a saw on the left, Roy. I know a lot of you guys are gonna complain about this. Like, why are you guys killing Marlin? You know, we're in Hawaii, we're meat hunters. We don't live in the continental United States. We don't have the same things you guys have. Can't just drive to the next county to get some fake food. I mean, we're stuck on an island, we're landlocked. So for all you guys complaining. Sorry about it. We're, we're meat hunters in Hawaii. This will feed a lot of families. This will definitely go to the market. Feed a lot of families. Plus, he was dead already. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Cut him loose and throw him back? Nah, not happening. That's a dead Marlin, though. We'll take that. That Marlin killed about over an hour of our day. Find the Marlin, get in the boat. Gillian got it, get in the ice. It's a big, long fish, so. Takes a lot of time. We got it. Nothing wrong with it. I'll take a Marley all day. Especially that size. He fought a lot harder than he was supposed to because he was, he was fall hooked. So it makes it a harder fight. When I saw it jump, I was like, yeah, I'm a 120, 140. I'm about 160. He fought like he was over 200 because he was fall hooked. But now the time is 510. We're just getting back to the area. I get to the well, so look, try it. So, so go to the one that I gave you and see how thick the line is compared to your reel. All right, let's get some aku. That's how you help your friends out. You don't catch any akus for bait, so you don't have to stop. So hopefully it helps. All right, boys, for the dream, for the dream. So unfortunately the wind was really strong when I was videotaping this part right here and it made a ton of static in my mic. The mic was bouncing on the, the cord and it was just making terrible static. So what I'm saying right now is we got two Libby Akus out and we're trying to get lucky for the dream boys and girls. And his name is Shea Crank All Day. <laughs> <laughs> Crank the whole time for that fish. That's his name, Shea Crank All Day. All right, here we go boys and girls. Hey, we just took one, kind of a funny bite though. I think this one might have choked on it. Nah, no way. I bet you he choked on it. He bit. There you go. Roy, Roy, really in the other line, Roy. I don't know what it is. We're going to see, boys and girls. Well, actually, yeah, leave it off, Roy. Leave it off, Roy. Leave it off, Roy. Leave it off, Roy. It's really the slack tonight, Roy. No, now he's hooked now. Yeah. Nah, that's all right. The line went down, huh? Yeah, so just baby it. Yeah, I mean, you can go neutral already. Right? Yeah, watch the other line, though. Yeah. It's a big one. Try to dog us. This guy's smart. Yeah. Trying to dog us. Trying to dog us. The big fish are always smart. Maybe hooked to a four. The smart fish. Probably about 10 minutes already. Got him up to rubber band. 
and he took about a 50 yard run back down. Smart fish. All right, here we go, boys. We're gonna spread the dream. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. Let's get him in the boat. Make sure you lift his head now, don't let him lift his head, okay? Yeah. Just really let him dip his head, right? Yeah, mm. Hold on, hold on, right? Hold on, right? Get ready, Shay. He's gonna be right there. Get him, Shay. Bury him. Bury him. Bury him. He's dead. He's dead, guys. He's dead. Good job, guys. Don't let him. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, boys. That's a room, boys. Get, oh, hang on. My hand, other hand. <laughs> That's a room, boys. Good job, Shay. Shay, crank all day. Where's the big dad? Yeah. We lost the big dad? Yeah, but I wasn't even in the boat. Oh, oh it's in the back of my truck. That's why. All right. Hold on, right? Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Fuck is like what? 140? Yeah. Yeah, boys! Yeah, we got it! I'm gonna hook out. I'm gonna. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Take a hook out. Yeah, you say. Oh, fuck yeah, ah. boy. Say you crank all day. <laughs> yeah. Good job, Shay. That's what's about right there, boys and girls. Huh? Good shit, guys. Good shit. That's what it's all about. Yes, sir. As always, if it's your first eye of the year on the Molello, you have to eat the eye heart. So Shay's paying his dues right there. The audio is bad, but we still got the footage. Good job, Shay. 10 pound chibi. Get that in the boat, Shay! Get out, bro! He's got a gaff on us! Here's Uncle Nick's gaffing 101. It's still on, it's still on. Oh, oh one shot in the head! Hey. I found the gaff master. <laughs> yeah, you. That's a big one, shit. That's a big one, cuz. 15, 20 pounds. It's almost dark. We were trying to get to another bit earlier. We got that shibi that you saw. And then, uh, we're like, ah, should I get to our shibi? We need Pokeballs. So, here's our Pokeball. There's another Pokeball coming in. 720. Thank you for coming with me for the ride today. I hope you guys had an awesome time. I know I did. I know Shay crank all day, dude. That's that guy's thing, dude. That guy cranked all day. Yeah, Roy. I had fun. Yeah, Roy had fun like always. Roy's probably watching this in the mainland right now. He's in college. <laughs> Shay, crank all day lives up to his name. Crank all day. All right. Tyler's out of here. I think Tyler got five eyes. Six eyes. He was here all day. So Tyler, Tyler had a pretty epic day today. So these auction guys typically start the day at about 12 o'clock. I like to be at about 2 o'clock in the morning. This day I totally overslept. I showed up at 4 o'clock and they were done offloading everybody's catch for the day. Uh, there was a few local guys that came after me to offload but they were done with all the long line boats so I could not show you guys that stuff. But what they'll do is they'll take your fish out, they'll temp check it to make sure it's under 39 degrees. That way it meets the, the I guess the board health requirements. The morning as you can see was 33 degrees. I think the eye was 34 degrees. From there they wait and they pretty much get ready for the auction floor. Hopefully soon I can get back on the auction floor and I can show you guys a live auction. That would be pretty epic. 180 pounds. This is Pamela Pearl Fish out. How are you? I'll put the info on the bottom. You gotta go charter fishing. And you guys always ask me to go fishing. These guys catch fish. Check out their way.
so I have to go to a family barbecue this afternoon. Or like actually all day at the beach. So we got some mainland family from out of town. So I was like, I'm gonna get some fresh pokey. So I kept the bigger one. We sold the two other ones. We made some money. Oh my god, we did good. We did good, guys. Uh, I heard what the prices was this morning. I'll sure break down that. Like when I get home. Uh, but then with the she right there, I don't know, it's about 20 pounds maybe. So we cut that guy up. He was ice. He was on about 300 pounds of ice. So he's nice, good. He's nice and solid. We'll fillet this guy up. I will try to make two twists of poke. Spicy, and we're gonna show you poke. But uh, it's a hard it's fish to be cherry. So for a small shibi, the boys did an extremely nice job icing and binding it. We'll get these fillets bagged up and then we'll we'll see you at the, I guess, the beach house or the party or the kitchen. I don't know. I don't know where we're going yet. Thumbs up for good luck. Hit the subscribe button for near. We post new videos every Sunday, 7 p.m. Hawaii time. So we're going to make pokey now. We got it all cut up. We have our helper, Rachel. Don't worry, nobody's going to see us, Rachel. I see it. Not that much people watch my YouTube. So we're going to make pokey over here. Uh... Rachel wants spicy. I'm gonna make an onion ogo pokey, which is onion seaweed. And we'll make spicy for Rachel because she wants spicy. So we have it all cut up and then uh, we're just gonna add salt and we'll go from there. So we're gonna make two different types. We're gonna make a spicy and an onion ogo. Ogo is just seaweed, so we add a little salt to this. I already add a little salt. I missed it, so add a little more. I'll show you guys. And then good old sesame seed oil. Super, super simple recipe. Now it's just evenly coated the sesame seed oil. It's all to taste, so there's no there's no right way or wrong way. Okay? If you want more sesame seed oil, add more sesame seed oil. So far, so far it's just salt and sesame seed oil. Coming out. Does we're getting the whole effect of this? What's going on here? You didn't tell me angles. She gave me over here to me. I cut it off. <laughs> Rude. For the spicy, why are you putting it around there? It's a bad angle, it's so high. Yeah, because you're going to put your... You're for the spicy, show me the mayonnaise, right? Yeah, put mayonnaise. It's only really four ingredients on the spicy or five ingredients, but we don't have to be cool, which is kind of the main ingredient, which is fish eggs. And I prefer the cupine mayonnaise, but we have all this mayonnaise, so it's okay. Mayonnaise, now we got a little okay. sriracha for the fire. Does Depends on how much fire you want. It depends how much fire you want. I actually added a little too much mayo, but some people like it that way. If you guys don't like the videotaping and you're in Miss Desert's class at Miller High School, blame her. She's a terrible videotaper. Oh, oh. Please, please, hold on. Still on my fire, though. Now? So that's pretty much it. Just salt, sesame seed oil, mayonnaise, uh, cock sauce, and then uh, tobacco, if you have it. And we got some green onion, but that's spicy tuna, pretty much done. Now let's get on to the show you onion. For this, we already had salt, sesame seed oil, inamono or kukui nut. This is key. You want to get this in Hawaii, I think. You don't eat it, but that's excellent for this way. Put it in the freezer if you're gonna store it. Don't leave it in the fridge for like too long. I didn't clean it in the fridge for like a month, and I ate it, and I got the squirt. So be careful. Sweet onions, preferably Maui, because we're in Hawaii. So I use the Maui sweet onions all over for it because this is in our kitchen. We don't care. <laughs> Sorry, Josh. Sorry, Josh. I gotta put some green onions too. I gotta cut green onions. You don't have to add sugar to this. You gotta eat it like this. But we like a little sugar. Mm. You can even add oyster sauce to be honest to sweeten it up. That's another another option. But this is straight Hawaii style poke. Not that soybean stuff you guys eat in California. So we got our green onion cut, spicy tuna, all we need is a green onion. Preferably tobacco, but we don't have tobacco. Give it a spin, put your green onion at the end. That way it keeps it fluffy looking, not too smashed up. And that is our spicy tuna, Nick Moore style. A little less mayos, a little less mayonnaise, cupine mayonnaise would be great, but that spicy tuna right there. Mm. Okay, now for the shoyu onion, I totally forgot, I got ogo. I love ogo. But let's have the green onion first. A lot of green onions. I made this on a very vegan friendly one. If you don't always seaweed, oh my god, it's so good. This right here is like the good stuff, okay? Fresh farm raised in Hawaii because we can't get no more because people over harvest, but oh, maybe I should cut a little smaller, but whatever. Ogo pokey. 
This ball might be too small for this does. I'm telling you right now, this ogle hit the spot. Are you making a mess of the kitchen? Where's Josh's kitchen? It's okay. Yeah, Auntie? Yeah. Josh doesn't mind, right? Yeah. Perfect. Well, let's go take this out. Let some people test test it out. Dez, wait, let's let Dez tear it first. <laughs> Come on, Dez. Try this. Yeah, Just here. Give me your hand. Oh. Wow. Just open your hand. So much. Open your hand. There you go. Savage. Now, let's see it. Now, let's let try this. This old one. Right here. This is my favorite right here. Go ahead, Dez. Try this. Take a nice big forkful. Is it good? Let me try to see it. Let's see it. Let's see it. You can have iron. He's iron. Put some lead in that pencil. We're good? Oh, yeah. Another taste tester. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I gotta say, hard to beat. Hard to beat. And it's made with family. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's good. Let's see it. For the boys and the girls. <laughs> pretty good. And caught by that guy, too. <laughs> So there you have it. Everybody likes it. So we'll see you guys at home for how much we made. All right, everybody. This is Sky. We post new videos every Sunday. So as you can see, we got a super epic day. You have to meet Crank All Day Shay. And that's literally guy's nickname. Why well, won't Crank All Day? But Shay was literally Crank All Day Shay. That guy was like, all right, Tori, if you want to send the real, let him send the real. So Shay, epic, epic first trip on the mall level for sure. Super psyched that I'm on the boat. But uh, overall, how we did, we went with the one ahi and the one marlin. For the one ahi, we got 690 a pound, was 134 pounds gilling gutted. And for the marlin, it was 180 pounds even um, gilling gutted. And we got 540 a pound. So that marlin was probably close to 200 pounds with the gills and guts and everything, I'd say. It's a pretty fair estimate. Um, for the ahi, we had $924.60. And for the Marlin, we got 9.72. Um, that was a fast trip that day. We uh, we didn't bring a lot of fuel that day. I think total fuel wise, I think it was 26 gallons. So um, I had some ice from the from the day before, and I took I believe that day I took another I want to say 50 hours on ice that day. I think I could be wrong. Maybe I, it's been a while. But that was about six weeks where I filmed that video. So overall, 1706. We, 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 we did pretty good. We made some money. We, you know, we put some money in the bank. This video you're watching this today. I filmed this the day before Saturday. Um, my back surgery was I, was a success, I guess. I'm getting uh, some feeling back in my, my my left side of my body. I'm getting feeling back in the left side of my body, which is always key. The only thing that's bothering me right now is my left foot. The outside of my foot is still numb. Uh, the doctor said it should come back with time. And I want to come back sooner than later because that's kind of holding me up. That's going to prevent me from really going refishing, stuff like that, whipping. Um, I still have five weeks before I can go on the boat, or four and a half weeks I go on the boat. But uh, that's what's totally melt. But other than that, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. Next week, Sunday, we'll be dropping new shirts. We have a whole bunch of new shirts coming out, new colors, new design. It's pretty epic, pretty stuff for that. So next week, Sunday's video, we'll drop that, and it'll be on the website next week, Sunday, for that video. And Roy Boy, Roy Boy's in grade in school. Here's Roy Boy's mailing address right there on the screen. I'm gonna put it there in the bio also. Feel free to know Roy Boy some stuff. He's a uh, he's having an epic day. He actually got to be a deckhand on a charter boat today, a uh, bluefin fishing. So he's having a pretty epic day. So he's, I guess he's a uh, deckhand for a charter boat up there on Saturdays. I guess is what the, was what they're doing. So pretty epic. The kids are gonna catch some beasts up there. I guarantee you. Follow his Instagram. Super entertaining <laughs> as always. Uh, but like I said, his mail info will be in the bio. Mail him some stuff. I'm sure it'll be grateful to get it. Oh, I don't know how many have this boat because it's raining. And I pretty much kind of like hobbled my way up here. I seriously don't know how I'm going to get off this boat. Hope I don't fall down. I'm going to leave it rolling for bloopers. Thug walk on. I ain't no thug. I got the thug walk on. I got from my leg. All right, see you guys next week.